formerly Reliance Globalcom, which was comprised of three companies, Yipes, uh, the traditional was an Ethernet provider here in the United States, Fanco, a managed services provider in Europe, and, uh, and FLAC, uh, which was the largest submarine cable globally, combined all into the same company now called a Global Cloud Exchange. We, we believe that the next generation of networks are all going to be based in what we call data center modules, which will be cloud exchanges. Instead of using traditional MPLS or Ethernet services, this is going to become the center for, Ethernet, for enterprise customers going forward. We believe that uh, we, there will be every company will have its own cloud exchange uh, embedded within it, and that will be actually how networks are, are built over the next five to ten years. There's a couple things. We're, A, we're early pioneers in the space, but more importantly, we're actually in most of the emerging markets. So we're in the challenging places for people to go to. So we've actually built infrastructure into the Middle East, Asia, uh, Eastern Europe, uh, and that's been our primary focus, and that will be our primary focus going forward. So we're actually going to have a, uh, our, our footprint is in a different part of the world. We're obviously here in the United States and we're in Europe, but that's not really where we're going to differentiate ourselves in this space going forward. Well, I think bandwidth is always going to be critical in the space, but I think it's also going to be how do you build that next generation network? How do you actually start to bring uh, essentially soft software as a service, managed services into that space? And I think we're going to see a new generation of carriers coming out, which essentially focus largely on new types of networks that are software switched versus the traditional TDM type switched networks that have been in our world for the last 20 years. And I think this is really going to be where we're going to see a lot of change going forward. Similar to as we, when we all went from frame relay to ATM to MPLS, we had essentially hybrid networks. We're going to have a hybrid network for the next couple of years. We're obviously going to continue to keep our Ethernet services or our MPLS type services, but we will start to move carriers into a much different type of architecture, which is more focused on what I would call nodes or no nodules, software nodules around the world, which will actually be their cloud deployments. And I think you'll see this start to happen this year, next year, and this will start to become the center of architecture for every enterprise going forward. We absolutely love big bandwidth because as owners of glass on the seabed, you know, the bigger the networks, the better it is for us. And, and I think that uh, you know, 100G, I think you'll see 400G, you're going to see 1,000G uh, you know, over the next five years in terms of how these networks start to evolve, and we're going to sit right at the center of that and actually deploy over our assets that are all the way around the world. So we're, we're excited about what's happening in the bandwidth space, and we're hopeful that networks will continue to accelerate as they have.